Have you ever needed to get information about multiple YouTube channels within Google Sheets? This information may include data such as total subscribers, lifetime view count, and total videos uploaded. Of course, we could manually look up each individual channel and manually enter the values into Google Sheets, but no one has time for that. Today, I will show you how to automatically get data from a YouTube channel and input it into Google Sheets using Google's app script, which is basically JavaScript. Here we have a sheet with some of my favorite programming YouTubers such as Kenny Gunderman, Jossie, Fireship, and a couple more. Looking at the headers, you can see we have the name of the YouTuber, a channel ID, which you can get from the channel's about page, then we have statistics such as total subs, total views, and total videos. In order to fill this information, we first need to create a Google Cloud account, then we need to create a project, and then enable the YouTube Data API. Once enabled, we can then grab our API key, which we'll need for later. Before we start to code, I just want to let you know that the source file is available on my website, which you can check out here. Otherwise, the link is in the description. First, we want to create a function called get YouTube channel statistics, which will get our YouTube channel statistics. Then we want to get the active spreadsheet using the spreadsheet app class, which we'll call the get active spreadsheet method. Then we want to get the individual sheet by using the get sheet by name method. From there, we want to get the range of the sheet. Then we want to get the values from that individual range. Next, we want to loop through each individual row after the header row. We can then grab the channel ID from each individual row, assuming that the channel ID is on the first column. From there, we then can call the YouTube data API using the YouTube slash V3 slash channels endpoint. We then want to create a parameters object, which will have a part property, ID property, which will use the channel ID and the key or the actual API key. Note, you will want to replace the API key with your own actual API key as this one in the video will be deprecated. Now we want to make the actual API request by using the URL fetch app class, specifically the dot fetch method. We'll pass in the API URL as well as the parameters we just created from above. From there, we'll want to parse the response as JSON. Then we can extract the statistics by grabbing the first element in the items array. Now we can update the actual spreadsheet with the retrieved data. We will populate the subscriber count within the third column. Then for the fourth column, we'll populate the view count and lastly, for the fifth column, we'll populate the videos count. Now we are ready to run our code. If we head back to the spreadsheet, we can see that the data is currently empty. But if we go back to the app script and we run our code, then head back to the spreadsheet, we can now see that the data has been populated. Now we can add some data manipulations such as average views per video. This data manipulation might be useful for whenever you're doing some type of strategy or studying similar creators within your niche. Either way, you can do whatever you want with this data. 